The United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres recently shared a frightening thought when he declared that the era of global warming has ended and the era of global boiling has arrived. But Director of Environmental Planning and Protection Ray Anna Neely Murphy agrees. Well, if you look at climate and you look at water, the boiling temperature of water is 100 degrees Celsius. And I think for the last 30 days or so, we've had a relative heat in index in the triple digits. And so with respect to that, we can look at it and say, we are all boiling out here. Um, and that will have certain implications for us. That has implications for our health, for human health, um, and how we interact with our environment, the heat advisories, do not go outside between certain hours. So this has an impact on how we relate to our environment. It has an impact on our energy use because a lot of us are spending much more time inside. You need to, to, to use electricity more. You have your ACs burning more often. So all of these have more, imp have more implications. The more AC you burn, the more fossil fuel you use, especially in the Bahamas. So it is, ha it is a cyclical effect because the more burning of the fossil fuel, the more climate change impact you will tend to have. And so we have to find a way to break our cycle. And according to Neely Murphy, that requires putting technology to better use. As it stands, everything takes its cue from nature, and that includes plants. And so for those people who have allergies, instead of your allergies or allergy season beginning maybe in May or June, your allergy season could begin as early as March because it is that warm now. And those triggers would have been given to the plants to, to start producing pollen so that their reproduction cycle can come. You see bees out earlier pollinating. And so all of this will have an impact on, on those that are impacted by allergies, yes.